First of all, I'm an enormous admirer of your organization, Green People. I think you're all to be congratulated. Well, thank you. I do notice, however, the beverage your council's drinking. Do you know, sir, that the bottled water industry uses more than 1.5 million barrels of crude oil to manufacture their plastic? I know that we use oil to make products. I do live in this century. They happen to use a lot of oil, enough to fuel 100,000 cars for a year. They also use vast amounts of fossil fuels to distribute their product. What's worse is less than 25% of these bottles are actually recycled. The rest end up in landfills or the ocean. It's not really green at all to be drinking bottled water. I'm not about to ask people to go green at the expense of their own health. Oh, actually, it doesn't serve their health. Scientists say that bottled water is no better for you than tap. In fact, it could be worse. The EPA standards are looser, and in some cases, the bacterial count is almost double. This is not a referendum on water. I beg your pardon. Do you eat meat? Huh? I only ask because studies show eating meat contributes more to greenhouse gases than driving a car. Denny says you two often have ribeyes together. Is that true? First, I don't believe that eating meat is worse for the environment than driving a car. It is. Contaminated runoff from slaughterhouses is a major source of water pollution. Livestock itself contributes 18% of greenhouse gases just from, pardon me, farting. That's more than all the planes, trains, and automobiles put together. Do you eat meat, sir? I'm not sitting here saying people need to go vegan, but Denny Crane's firm is assaulting the environment. I mean, the man drives a, an outrageous gas what guzzling... What do you drive, if I may ask? I drive a hybrid. Oh, dear. Oh, what, are you telling me that's bad, too? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but hybrid batteries contain nickel that is mined and smelted in a plant in Sudbury, Ontario, a plant that has caused so much environmental damage and acid rain that NASA uses the so-called dead zone around the plant to test its moon rovers. I would think a board member of Green People might know that. That nickel then has to be shipped off via massive containers to a refinery in Europe, then off to China to be made into nickel foam, then to Japan to be manufactured, then finally all the way back to America. All that, just to put a single hybrid battery into a car. When you combine all the energy it takes to build and drive a hybrid, it adds up to almost 50% more than it does to build and drive a Hummer. They also save on fuel. In terms of money, perhaps, but because they do so, studies show people are driving more. Hybrids might result in more fuel consumption than gas cars. I imagine you do know that.